sellout. A big, big crowd here tonight. The Olympic Auditorium. There's Dick Holloway calling for you. Along with sidekick Jim McInerney. All right. The colors, the black and the white, the Texas Outlaws, the Thunderbirds and the customary white, gold and green. And out goes Lois Decker, Decker number 12, and number three for the Thunderbirds, Patsy Delgado. Patsy Delgado, ah, oh, she hits her knock on the head with the one time, hits her again, Pelt, trying to knock her down, next round there. Patsy Delgado. Woo! Patsy moving around that track. Gal from Pico Rivera. She hails from Pico Rivera. Was brought up to the home, the training home of the T-Bird Roller Dome, John Hall's Palace out there. The Look out. What's she going to do now? The gal throws off the elbow pad. Off goes the other one. They're making a move for it. Oh, look at her go. That's ah. right up by Gail Bowers. Gail Bowers lost so much weight in there. She didn't see her go by her. Woo. Look out. Terrific, terrific skater. And she's, she works so well with this T-Bird team. The gals love her out there. She is just a terrific T-Bird skater, Dick. I'll tell you. But I'll tell you what really worries me is there he is, Leroy Gonzalez. That guy, he is the man that really scares me. You know what to expect. He's going to go all out. He doesn't care if he breaks a nose, his own nose or whatever. He's still going to go after this Tony Trejo. Tony Trejo being a rookie, but he's a charger, Dick. I don't know. There's John Parker and Leroy Gonzalez talking it over. All right, the gals back on the track and ready to go once again. And they're jamming out there. That's right. They got a 10 minute period and a one minute jam time. This gal, big trim out there, number 13, Gail Bowers. Looking good, Gail Bowers for the Texas Outlaws. And number one, Debbie Heldon. Pretty Debbie Heldon. Heldon. Whoop. Knocked to the waist high. In the meantime, we see Gail Bowers working away around that pack. I'm liking it by the likes of Skinny Minnie Gwen Miller. Trying to do a number here on Gail Bowers. And somebody got built hard in the back of the pack. They took the jammer out there. Lois Decker. Oh, look out. Tripped to the infield by Leroy Gonzalez. Gonzalez tripped the Thunderbird gal. Threw a jacket on her skates and knocked her out of there. From the back side. In the meantime, it's Gail Bowers picking up points. Bowers moving around that pack. And gets blocked hard one time. And Blocko! Oh, oh, my. Gail Bowers went down that time. But the gal picked up five points. A grand. Slam. And who caused the trouble? Leroy Gonzalez. You see Gonzalez and Tony Trujillo. They'll be going out on Saturday night, Jim, and this place will be shaking at the rafters. This place, the Olympic Auditorium, is where the action is going to be Saturday night because Tony Trujillo, this guy is not a quitter. He wants to have Leroy Gonzalez. He wants to get the revenge. There's some great fans. They were all on their feet for him, this Donnybrook. The fans, they were on their feet for a long time when Leroy Gonzalez and Tony Trujillo went at it. Well, John Hall, you see him right here talking to Debbie Hellman. He told me that Ralphie Valadares wants to thank everyone for those get well cards, and he hopes to return to the lineup soon, Jim. Yes, and Tony Trujillo wants to have Ralphie Valadares' his, his name cleared and everything else. I'll tell you, he wants he to wants put Leroy Gonzalez. That's right, he wants to put Gonzalez back in the hospital, yeah. what he did to Ralphie. All right, all matter of a 50 piece now. And look at the skating action. Tricky Vicka McEwen skating with the Texas Outlaw team. And number seven, Juanita Ricardo. Ricardo. Got larger size here. Larger size of gal. This uh, Vicky McEwen only driven wet about 100 pounds. A cute little gal. She ripped me hill for San Bernardino. Now skating with the Texas Outlaw team. Oh, look out! Really this time. Thunderbirds 2. Break that tie. 52 to 50. And what great fans we got, Jim. Oh, there they yeah. are. Well, you know, one of the great things about T-Bird games are the great T-Bird fans, Dick. They're, they're different ages. They're all different walks of life, but they all have one thing in common, Dick. They're all really, real enthusiastic. I guess it's probably because anywhere you sit here in the Olympic Auditorium, you feel like you're right on top of the action, right there in the infield. It, we've got some great fans. They bring down those posters and everything. It's terrific. We love the T-Bird fans here. All right, action back on the track again. Would you see him moving out there? It makes you wonder if the Thunderbirds can continue just winning, winning, winning. Great team. The likes of a Texas Outlaw team. They are tough. The Texas Outlaws are tough. All right, 52 to 50 the score. A two-point lead for the Thunderbirds. Five minutes and six seconds to meeting. And Gail Bowers, number 13, waltzes her way to the back of that pack. And Patsy Delgado builds her one time. Delgado. Going to take another shot at her. Look out. Nope, she just holds her arm out there. Tries to slow it out. Leroy Gonzalez again tripping up Patsy 
Delgado. Delgado down. And Trujillo on the far side after her again. And look out, we got a Donnie Brook. And Gil Bowers goes to. Gil Bowers picking up more and more points at four minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Bowers blocked in there that time. A solid block by Pepsi Delgado. How many points? They said five. Texas Outlaw points picked up on that jam. But I'll tell you, while that was going on, there's the guy right there, Leroy Gonzalez. He was coming after after El Tigre, Tony Trujillo. Well, these two are going to go out of Saturday night, Dick. I've got a question. Is Tony Trujillo, El Tigre, as we've been calling him, is he able to cope with this Gonzalez, will he? Well, the man has a lot of experience, that's for sure. And he's a wild old tomcat out there, that's for sure. Leroy, look at his face. And there's El Fabuloso, the man that caused more and more trouble. There goes Leroy Gonzalez back on the track. Tony Trujillo. Oh, watch out behind you. Well, I want to see the likes of John Hall out there. I want to remind you to be getting training classes 7 p.m. Wednesday nights out of Pico Rivera. I invite you to watch the making of a professional skater. Oh, Thunderbird started out there. We got a game going here tonight. That's right, 55 for the Texas Outlaws and 52 for the Thunderbirds as Jim McInerney works his way down trackside for a big interview. Get a good, good game. Always good here on Saturday nights from the Olympic Auditorium. That's right, and Coley Morrell moving out of there. Coley the gal, the hails from Australia, living in Glendale. Three cute kids, nice husband, Ronnie Psycho Range, you all know him. And Coley likes to do her part for the Thunderbirds right now. She's having trouble. Oh, look out. Land sideways in there, Coley down and out of there. She didn't trip up her ankle or sprain an ankle. She hit hard. Three minutes remaining, and John Parker over the likes of Coley. She better be careful. Lois Lois Decker. Decker wants to get by. Oh, look out. Donnie Young. Donnie Young took a good shot at her. Young felt her again. Donnie Young doing a number. She felt her hard again. Doing a good job. And look out. Trying to get back at her again. And she ducks it out. is here with me and Georgie you don't look too happy after losing that match race to Juanita Ricardo and Debbie Hilden. What do you mean losing? I didn't lose that race. I was cheated again as usual and that hussy Debbie Hilden better get out of town because it's either her or me and believe you it's not going to be me. I've had it with her and she has not seen the last of me yet. I'll tell you. That's all. That's it. You heard me. That's the most emotion I've ever heard from this one. Dick Holloway can you take this one away? Uh, hot and heavy, I tell you. That's for sure. John Hall says, get him going. Well, the Thunderbirds would like to say hello to Tracy Hunter. That's right, Tracy Hunter of Hawthorne. She's going to be going to Hawthorne High School. Light brown hair beauty. Tracy Hunter, hello. The T-Birds like you. All right. 55 to 52. The Thunderbirds are down by three points in the scoring column. And that's Georgia Haas. She's something else. Georgia Haas. Woo! One minute, 24. Second training. The clock continues to move. Here comes Skinny Minnie Miller. I'd like to get out of there. I'd like to pick up some points. Skinny Minnie. The Thunderbirds down by three. One minute and 12 seconds remaining. One, 12 remaining on the clock. Blocked out of there. Debbie Hilton doing a good job. Here comes Skinny Minnie. She makes the high part of the track. Reverse. Look out. What's she going to do now? Trying to go one on either side. Make a little bit of a bit of a move. Goes by McEwen. Bowers got her. She reverses it. Didn't even see her. Goes by Lord. Look out. Back again. Goes by Bowers. By McEwen. By Weichel. She goes by. were picked up. They did pick up some points. I don't know. Don Lasher's still arguing it over with uh, Parker. John Hall and Skinny Minnie are down there talking it over with Parker to it. Did you? Look at this. Skinny Minnie Miller doing her thing. This <laughs> gal is something else. Woo! No more time left on the clock. That's the end of the period. 
with the score 58 to the, for the Outlaws, 56 for the T-Birds. I'll tell you, this has been one heck of a first half, and starting the second half, it is all broken loose. Uh, the fans are still on their feet. <laughs> they gave Skinny Minnie Miller a standing ovation, Dick. I don't often see that, but what a great skater she is. Plenty of action going on, I tell you, here at the Olympic Auditorium. Hey, Dick, just a reminder in San Diego. San Diego hosts the uh, World Series game number three on Friday, the 17th of next month. That should be a... Uh, that's a great town, I'll tell you. Got a lot of T-Bird fans. Look at this, John Parker still arguing something. Woo, yeah! Saw Juan Milano go down. He hit the dusty trail. And yeah, look at Milano, he's having a fit out there. He's been working in a referee for this big game. Roller game of the week. The Texas Outlaws and the Los Angeles Thunderbirds are the world famous, world champion Los Angeles Thunderbirds. Psycho Reigns, the Psycho, on the move. And look out, oh, he just tripped out of there. And he just walks over him. Ronnie Psycho Reigns, he walks over water, folks. Ronnie Psycho Reigns, oh, me, oh, my. And here comes Jackson, now what's he going <laughs> to He makes a monkey out of him. The Psycho flying like a bird. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Ronnie Psycho Reigns at his best. Now he's up. <laughs> Torigno, Torigno behind him, he's doing a wall. You got to... <laughs> oh, the psycho, he's liable to eat that half a minute. You watch him, folks. What's he going to do now? He goes out in the audience. They love it. They love it. Ronnie Psycho Reigns for president. They want him to run for president, Jim. Dick, we know he's crazy, but we don't care. He's a fantastic <laughs> T-Bird skater. Hey, or just a reminder for all of you fans who would like information on the T-Birds and upcoming games, just call the T-Bird hotline. There's two of them. In the Los Angeles area, it's Richmond 95171. And in the San Bernardino area, the area code is 714-884-0178. Ronnie Reigns back on the track, and what a fabulous skater he is. Oh, look at that lady. She's happy. She's wearing his hat now. When you got a Ronnie Reigns souvenir, you got it all. That's right. In the meantime, you see the score, 62 for the Thunderbirds and 58 for the Texas Outlaws. I'll tell you, people everywhere down there in San Pedro at the Catalina Terminal, Sandy told me her mother just loves the games. They hail from Gardena. Barbara Spland. Barbara Spland, a real Thunderbird fan. And the T-Birds and I would like to say hello. Dick Holloway and Jim McInerney. Say hello. And what a game we got going. Oh, Ooh. look out. Tony Trujillo, Bella down that time. And I wonder if Tony Trujillo is going to get Bella down Saturday night when he goes against Leroy Gonzalez like that. Gets tough. Uh, I'll tell you, I don't know exactly what's going to happen Saturday night, but I'm not going to miss that one for anything. Okay, we're going to be there, that's for sure. And this Juan Milano, he's tough. What's that man going to do? He's going to go against Trujillo again right now. Well, Trujillo, he must want to show the people here what he's going to put a little preview of the coming attractions for Saturday. If he can rough this guy up, he may have be in good shape. That's right. After seeing this guy, Leroy Gonzalez, and he knows every trick in the book, and we're, we've got them, these two guys going at it. They don't want to wait for Saturday night. El Fabuloso stepping in the middle. El Tigre, he wants to go after him right now. He does not want to wait for Saturday night. Dick, can a rookie like this beat a veteran like Leroy Gonzalez? When you got that adrenaline pumping, Jim, anything can happen. You've been in sports long enough. You know that. Look at the fans here. They pump the Thunderbirds up to the great heights. They're world champions, and he believes it. He believes he's a world champion, and that's what it takes. He knows he's a world champion, Dick. The man is just made out of T-Bird material. He you know, bounces right back, and he's not going to stop at anything. You know, it's like putting that Yankee uniform on in the great championship years. You're a champion. You're a champion. You put on the Thunderbird uniform, you've got to feel the adrenaline pumped up. Well, Dick, I'm going to be here at the Olympic Auditorium Saturday night for that big man. Well, you know, race. I'm going to be here, that's for sure. Six minutes and ten seconds remaining. And when these skaters get on those jammy helmets, they become a different person out there, especially the Thunderbird rookie. And he's one of them. And here's the man the fans love, number five, Ronnie Psycho Rain. He hails from Glendale, California. You people all there know him. A likable 
guy. But look out. He's going to be roped up this time. Uh, Down uh, oh, look out, Riley. Oh, the big man. Danny Riley goes flying over the top. In the meantime, it's Big Burnett Jackson. He's the bigger brother of the little man, Harold Jackson. He's quite a skater. Big Burnett Jackson. Woo! Look at the size of this man. Number 18, but another man his size. Danny Riley will be waiting for him this time. And Riley bumps yeah. him. Woo I can hear that one all the way up here. As he belts Burnett Jackson, number 18. You can hear him. remaining here in the sixth skating period. Two more big periods to follow. Big wrap-up interview. And oh, my, oh my, the Thunderbirds going to win one? They need a victory here tonight. They would like to win them all if they could. But oh, look out. To the rail. Almost into one of our fine VIP video cameramen. Almost knocked him out of there. Looked like Mark down there. Almost caught one in the chops. He got to get out of the way of camera number two. All right. Look out. It's Juan Milano. A Juan Milano back there. Tony Trujillo. Trujillo blocked him one time. Trying to grab him. Trujillo, here comes Leroy Gonzalez. Hits it right outside. And Milano moves on. Leroy Gonzalez and Trujillo back up again. And Trujillo's going to go after him. The heck with the game. Trujillo. Trujillo going after Leroy Gonzalez. But the man up in front is number 13. Number 13, Juan Milano. The man up there in front blocking for him. Jimmy Torigno. Leroy Gonzalez, he's trying to edge his way to the back of the track. They picked up nine Texas Outlaw points. I'll tell you, you saw the tricks. Leroy Gonzalez, he knows every trick in the book. Now, Flamie Lutz are coming in there, but he knows every trick in the book, and that's why I say that they will... Leroy Gonzalez, does he have too many tricks for Tony Trujillo? Dick, is he too tricky for Tony? Well, like I said before, like I said before, he is a veteran. He knows all the moves, all the tricks, but the man is young. He's eager, and he's determined, and he also is a Thunderbird. And it really psychs these kids up. I tell you, they're just phenomenal. They're phenomenal out there. When they get psyched up, they can do just about anything. The fans cheer them on. The cards, the letters, the telegrams, they get in the mail, anything before a match race, anything to hype them up. They really, they get that free high. That's right, the Thunderbird high of enjoyment, excitement, skating out here on a Saturday night. Nothing like it. And boy, do we love to bring it to you. Do we love to call it for you. That's right. This is Dick Holloway loving every minute of it. With two minutes and 28 seconds remaining, the big man, number 15. That's him, John Rodriguez. Rodriguez out there. And what's he going to do? After him is Sam the Man of Washington. And Sammy the Man, whoa, he gets him out of there. Sam the Man. And look at him high step. He's two-stepping around there now. Sam, a little disco move. Coming on the far side and going to get by the big man, Burnett Jackson. We'll find out in a minute. Jackson, weighing about 40 pounds more, moves out to the pack and the skate away. Now, can Sam catch up with less than two minutes to go? They're picking him up one by one. Riley picking him out of that pack. Pack number 12, Russell Carter, the back of the pack. The one. Now, a triple whip. He goes to the inside. He scores! Sam Washington. Oh, be up high. Sam Washington. And he scores a bundle of points. Sam, six. Ernie and John Hall. Look out. Here they come, Jim McInerney. Wait. Well, John Hall is here with me, and John, Saturday night, right here at the Olympic Auditorium, Tony Trujillo is going to meet Leroy Gonzalez in a real tough match race tonight. I don't know, has Tony bitten off more than he can chew? Are you worried about him? Jim, Tony's a rookie. He's strong, he's powerful, and he's got that T-Bird spirit, a lot of heart. But I'm kind of worried. You have to stop and think. Look at what Leroy Gonzalez did to a guy like Rafi Valadares. And Tony has to go against him this Saturday. I hope that Tony's T-Bird spirit and fighting hard, and with the cheers the fans give him, can bring Tony through. He's got to be Gonzalez. Well, Tony's a bigger guy. We'll see what happens. Dick Holloway, take it away. Great interview, Jim, along with John Hall. And you know what the Thunderbirds say? Spirit, the fans, we got it all. We're going to put that match race together, though. Are we going to be able to get that man, Tony Trujillo, to stay there? Oh, look out! Jimmy Trigno down. Fill it down hard by Frank Imacito. And Trigno, he better get back up. 
up in a hurry. Big Burnett Jackson now. He's alongside with Frank Emicito. In the meantime, it's Jimmy Trigno coming back again. He jumps into the backside. Jumps into the backside as Emicito comes around again. Now, Emicito, with 12 seconds remaining, is he going to pick up more points in here? Look out. He wants to get Jack. He goes to the He scores on Burnett Jackson. And a drop. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, Jimmy Torino. Frankie Macedo still going at it, but real quick, congratulations, Jimmy. He's getting a Texas lasso. That's right, he's getting hitched. He's getting married to a gal named Jimmy Prize. Isn't that wild? That's right, two Jimmys. All we right. wish him all the luck. Well, she good we still have gal. action, though, going on with this big Jackson, big Burnett Jackson. Oh, okay. Riley, Riley, Riley comes back at him now. Riley, Riley and big Burnett Jackson. Oh, I tell you, Jim, Saturday night's here. All the action you want. Well, it's going to be of action Saturday night with uh, these two guys going at it. Tony, Tony Trujillo and Leroy Gonzalez. Everybody's eyes have been on him. I'll say it's been an action pack. Right. But we'll be right back after this word. I tell you, it's been a downy brook. The Thunderbirds are out in front, 71 to 67 for the Texas Outlaws. A slim four-point lead with a 10-minute period. Coming up for the gals in 10 more minutes for the men. What an exciting game. Entire night's just been loaded with action. And Jim McInerney, my sidekick. Evans, we've been enjoying this game. I hope the fans are. Well, I know they are. Oh. Hey. And when you get pretty gals like this on the track, Debbie Heldon, a Patsy Delgado, a Cully Morell, a Donnie Young, a Juanita Ricardo. They're all out there in a skinny mini Miller. What more could you ask for? Look at the likes of this son of her team. World champions all the way. Now look out. Oh, she's mad now. Debbie Hellman up in front. Gail Bowers on the inside. Number 13, number 16, Vicki McEwen. Goes right on by him. Busts on by him. And Debbie Hellman gets a whip from Coley Morrell. Up to Lois Decker. Knocks Decker aside. Goes by Lori Weichel. And the gal scores and scores big. Oh, me, oh, my. Five Grand Slam Mother Hubbard points. Debbie Hellman doing her thing. Boy, the fans are up. Standing on their feet, giving her a standing ovation. They brought the signs down, waving everything. Right here at the Olympic Auditorium. This, boy, this place is, is full of history. Every Saturday night is T-Bird Fever Night here at the Olympic Auditorium in downtown Los Angeles. And what a historic arena, this Olympic Auditorium. Uh, since it was built in for wrestling and boxing, the, uh, the events for the Olympics, back in 1932, that's where uh, it got its name, the Olympic Auditorium. How about that? Pretty clever Ali, of the Ali, Ali, Oh, Ali. yeah. How many times have we heard that down here? Oh, Muhammad Ali. Or the great gorgeous George and his... The Golden Boy. Holy plumes he threw out of his... Oh, gorgeous Georgie pins. What a place to be. This is a place to be. There's nostalgia reigning supreme here. And right now, we got a roller game going. Look out. Look out. It's going good out here. Woo! Number 16 in there. Look at that gal. Tricky Vigor McEwen as these two watching. The big man. Parker. Along with Leroy Gonzalez, and Gonzalez with a big match race Saturday night. But in the meantime, Cody Morrell trying to get back. Oh, look oh. out! Through the Cody and Cody Morrell, Morrell going down hard. In the meantime, it's Vicky McEwen trying to get through. McEwen, McEwen working away up the back of the pack, and the gal trying to go back to the inside. She goes on now. Still getting on through and picking up a bunch of points. Tricky Vicky McEwen. And look at that gal on the move. Coming up the back of the pack once again. Oh, just blocked hard in there by Donnie Young. Blocked hard in there. And that gal trying to stop her and blocks her again. Now what a job. Vicky McEwen picking up five points. And I remember the day when Vicky McEwen first broke her wares out there. That T-Bird Roller Dome. And she has really improved and worked her way on up from the Thunderbirds to the Texas Hollow. But they're the man, Jim, right there. Leroy Gonzalez, you better believe it. Saturday night he is looking forward to meeting this Tony Trejo. But I have a question for you, Dick. Tony Trejo, can he stand up to the tactics of this man? Leroy Gonzalez, is he able to, to withstand? He's a rookie, Dick. I don't know if he knows all the tricks in the book that Leroy does. I'm well, sure the he way doesn't. The way you keep talking, Jim, you act to me like Tony Trejo doesn't have a chance. I you know Leroy Gonzalez. This guy is bad news. Well, from what I understand, this Tony Trejo has been bad news a long time, but they've just finally discovered it. You know, it, it, it comes out. The cream comes to the top. Well, okay. We'll see what happens. 76 to 72. 625 remaining. What a good.
good game we've had here tonight. Just an exceptional game. Number three, Patsy Delgado. And look at her go. Patsy Delgado. Patsy. And right behind her, number 18, Lolly Waterman. A Lolly Waterman. Look down hard. Patsy took her out of that one. But now she's going to give her the likes of Darlene and Juan de la Chapelle. Once again, our loan to this Texas team from El Fabuloso, Darlene. And look out. She blocked her way through. Oh, slipped on through. But they just dropped their hands to let her through. And once again, they dropped their hands to gal shoots through again. Now, are they going to pick a whammy on her? Let's see this time. Whip. She goes through. Patsy. Oh, they thought it was the other one. She goes down low and scores. Two third of her points. And Patsy Delgado picking up two points for Ray. And Shirley Martin, the Ray Martin clan out in Glendale. There's the fans. They sure love this Patsy Delgado. I'll tell you what really makes the, the T-Bird team go is the great T-Bird fans. You know, they come down here, the family groups that come down, all ages, all sizes, they come down together. And, and it's such a terrific, terrific evening out to come down and root on the T-Birds. Yes, indeed, the great gals and guys that come. Oh, some of the pretty gals that are down here. Yes, indeed. They'll turn my head. That's Ooh, for sure. Oh, my. And, you know, you talk about these cards and letters. You know, we got... A few letters tonight saying that they're hoping somebody will eventually take care of this Leroy Gonzalez and people are getting their wish Saturday night. Maybe Tony Trujillo will do it. Well, I sure hope so. I don't know. I've been listening to a lot of people talk. They're a little bit worried. I don't know if the rookie can do it. Four minutes and 55 seconds remaining. Don't worry about the people talking, Jim. You better talk to Tony Trujillo. He told me you can get him. Okay, we'll find out. 78 to 72 is Coley Morrell, the guy from Sydney, Australia. On the move, little Colleen Morrell, a pretty little gal, mother of three. Recently had that third child and back in action once again. And look out for the sideline. Leroy Gonzalez hooked her in the midsection, knocked her out of there. And Vicky McEwen, Tricky Ricky, on the move for the Texas Outlaws with a high part of the track. Just sneaks her way through that pack. That's it, Odell trying to get her, but she missed her in there once again. More points, four more. And look at Leroy Gonzalez being chased by Tony Trujillo. Don't get me wrong, Dick. I don't take anything away from this Tony Trujillo he is up he's a scrapper from the word go and he's not going to stop at anything but I know Leroy Gonzalez I've seen him for too many years around the track this guy he knows every trick and he's not afraid to use it he's he is nuts out there and a tough tough competitor but this guy here he springs right back he doesn't go down easy he's going to go toe to toe with him fist to fist he hardly blinked when he took a shot there Jim he'll be coming back at him look at Leroy Smart. He gets away from it. He puts Parker man about twice of both their size in between them. And Tony Trujillo has guts in there. That's right. He's got guts. He's got fortitude. And, oh, we got all kinds of action. All kinds of action here tonight. Oh, me, oh, my. Look out. 70 to 76. A third of our time in front by two points. And the gals are moving out there. Number 12, Noah Stecker, the Texas Outlaw team. On the move. Texas Outlaws, good team, solid team. The Thunderbirds sucking it through by two points right now, but you know that doesn't mean a whole game is a lot of points can be scored in this time remaining. Oh, off the side. Skinny winning with Miller. Jim McInerney working his way down trackside once again. He's going to get a chance to talk to El Tigre, Tony Trujillo, in just a few short minutes. All right, 78 to 76. Nick Holloway calling for you along with Jim McInerney. 245 remaining. On the move, Lois Decker. Lois Decker goes to the inside, continues to move. Lois Decker being stopped in there momentarily by Tony Young. And Young over there and just holding her back as they run out of time. But five more Grand Slam points for the Texas Outlaws. Five more points. And the Texas Outlaws going out in front here, 81 to 78. Woo! What a game we've been having here. What a game. Jim McInerney, trackside. He's ready. Saturday night, right here at the Olympic Auditorium is the place to be because there's going to be a lot of action in halftime. All the eyes are going to be right here at the track where Tony Trujillo and Leroy Gonzalez are going to go at it. Are you a little bit worried? Jim, listen, somebody has to get even with Gonzalez for what he did to Ralphie. I may be a rookie, but I don't care. Well, Gonzalez is going to lose this match race, and I'm going to win. Well, I sure hope so, and I wish you all the luck in the world. Continues to run here. Well, 
this Texas Outlaw team's a tough team, and you see the Thunderbird fans are a little bit worried now. It's Tricky Vicky McEwen on the move. Tricky Vicky, good skater. And after it's Coley Morrell. And look at that big sign. The Thunderbirds just come out with lock, stock, and barrel with all kinds of signs. All the fans. <coughs> Cheering them on here. The Olympic Auditorium, a Saturday night. And what a place to be at. All ages come here to enjoy these games. Little ones, little tykes, mamas, daddies, grandpas, grandmas. They're all here. Brothers, sisters, enjoy themselves. Jim and I just really love these games. An experience. Oh, look out! Parker! He went after Coley Morrell. She ducked underneath him this time. Now, the little gal showing that razzle-dazzle she's made at him. By Weichel. By Langlois. Up to Lois Decker. 35 seconds remaining on the clock, and she's on the move now. Continues to go. Comes to the high part of the track. Parker. This guy, he has gone crazy. I'll tell you, just a reminder, San Diego Sports Arena hosts the World Series game number three on Friday the 17th the next month. That's just something else. Colleen Morrell taking quite a beating here, Dick. Fighter. Terry Toledo trying to get in there to break it up. Yeah, I don't know. Colleen Morrell, she's a, she's a scrapper. Well, 82 to the t -verse. Ralph Valadares, because I'm going to do the same to him, what I did to Ralph. I'm not going to ease up. 
Now, uh, with bad news, I'll be worse used for this punk. This uh, so-called Pachuco. That's all he is. He's gonna, just a punk kid. <laughs> El Fabuloso, what do you think? You think it's going to be a fair race? No, the man's another winner. That's all it is. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Take all the way back to you. All right, back to the action once again with six minutes and 25 seconds. Too many. Leroy Gonzalez along with El Fabuloso. What a pair. <laughs> Gonzalez, he says he's going to annihilate Tony Trujillo. Trujillo says the same. Well, we'll find out Saturday night when these two get it on. Here at the Olympic Auditorium. Six minutes, eight seconds remaining. The fans yelling, go, go, go. <clears throat> the cries of Shirley Hartman, her fate in the background. Now look at the cycle, a little reversal. <clears throat> Torino, he reverses. He reverses again. Little fan, now they're going to dance. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the cycle. Pops him on the top of the head. And Robbie cycle, hey. Go, go, go. By golly, by golly, on the move. <clears throat> Roddy cycle, hey. Look at him now. Back again. And Torigno, he said, I'm not going to fall for it this time. <coughs> oh, wait a minute. Now what's he doing? <laughs> he spins him around. He's clapping. He goes right up by him. He didn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Look at Trujillo. And when the side goes hot, you're hot. Now what's he doing? Back to the inside. Blocks it one time. The soft block. Back again. He gave a marshmallow pump shot. Now look out. This time he goes to the rail. And out of there. And the cycle scores one point on Jim Torigno. Oh, something else. Oh, you better believe it. This cycle is better <laughs> just to go along with it. You never know what's going to happen. Well, I'll tell you, I don't know what's going to happen Saturday night, Dick, because <laughs> Tony Trujillo, this guy's a scrapper, but look at all the tricks that Leroy Gonzalez did. And, and he does not say die. He goes out and he's going to go for everything he can every time. You got that right. He worries me. I say he, that again. He is literally bananas. And these fans, they haven't kept taking their eyes off of Leroy Gonzalez all night, that's for sure. Well, you know, when you look at the people here, and always enjoying themselves. Always enjoying themselves. Oh, oh, we got some flowers. flowers for Debbie Hilden. Admires. Oh. Admires, that's for sure. Well, the T-Birds don't have much time left. With four minutes, 26 seconds, the Outlaws, 88. The T-Birds, 83. They've got to pick up some points because the T-Birds are down. All right, let's see what happens now. Here's the cycle. He's got that beat up old chicken. job coming up. Well, we've got a lot more action coming up with Sam the Man, Woo! the old T-Bird gang. Hip check going at him back again with three minutes and 45 seconds remaining. Still a five-point lead in there for the Texas Outlaws. And Sam makes a run for him. Oh, look out. Tries to jump up over broad tie like a straddle jump. Ooh. Blocks him again. Knocks him down hard. And Sam got a skate knocked off on that one. Woo! Well, hang on because the Outlaws 88, T-Bird's 83. Three minutes, 28 seconds remaining. We'll be right back. All right, there's Darlene Lenoir de la Chapelle. She hails with this Texas outlaw team, one of the fine looking gals. And oh, yeah, yes, this man, Juan Malata, moves out of there to the score 88 to 83. The referee, Curly Lastra, he wanted to say hello to some friends out there in Redondo Beach, Tom and David Hilmar. We say hello.
yards to one minute and four seconds here. The heel, Alala, Ronnie Psycho Reigns, the back of the pack. The Psycho, he shows him the chicken. <laughs> he didn't like that one bit. And Trujillo, he goes to the inside. Look out. Still trying to pick up Trujillo. 50 seconds remaining. Tony Trujillo. Oh, look out. Now he's been backed off by Burnett Jackson. And look at that lady. <laughs> oh, gee, oh, my. She don't like it one bit. And Tony. For 38 seconds remaining, he called her off from there. Bring it on, Eddie Brooks. They're all flying in there. The clock went up. They said Burnett Jackson in there. The Thunderbirds picked up points in there. Well, the T-Birds won by three big points. That goes down in the record book as, as a big win for the Los Angeles T-Birds. But now, we have to look forward to the future. Saturday night, right here at the Olympic Auditorium, it's, there's going to be a big game. But at halftime, this is what worries me. Leroy Gonzalez and his bag of tricks is coming in, and he's going to meet El Tigre. Can the rookie stand up to it? What do you think, John? Jimmy, hold a second. Don't sell Tony short. Look at these letters. It says T-Birds. This man is a T-Bird at heart and in spirit and in body. And the way he handled Leroy Gonzalez tonight, I guarantee you. At first, I was worried. Yeah. I thought maybe him being a rookie, he might be intimidated by Leroy Gonzalez. He proved he's not as scared of Leroy Gonzalez. And the fact that Leroy Gonzalez hurt Rafi Valadares, that might be sitting in Tony's mind, you better believe it is. It's in his mind. It's enough motivation for Tony to go ahead and get Leroy Gonzalez that match race. Rookie or not, rookie against veteran, He's going to beat Leroy, and I guarantee you that. Well, let me say this. Tony, you look great out there in the second half, and you, I think you really shocked Leroy Gonzalez. You look good. But Saturday night, it's going to be just you and he out there on that track, and what's going to happen? Are you worried about it? No, Jim, I'm not. Listen, Leroy may be a veteran, and he knows has his tricks, but I've got my tricks too. So Leroy better watch out because come Saturday night, I'm going to take care of him. Well, we wish you all the luck in the world. All the fans I know are behind you here tonight, and I just sure as heck hope that you come out of this a, a winner. And good luck to you, Tony. Thank you, Jim. One more thing. Ralphie, if you're going to be watching this game Saturday night, I know that you're going to be pleased to find out that I'm the one who's going to be victorious in this match race. Well, good hey, luck to well you. To well, me. over here we have Leroy Gonzalez. Leroy Gonzalez, what? hey, out here in the second half, this guy was coming after, and you were backing up. What's, what's going on, Leroy? His breath smells, that's why. Anyway, let me tell you something about him uh, uh, telling Ralph to watch me, you know, watch, watch from his television what's going to happen to me. They're both going to be sharing the same bed watching me on TV. I can assure you of that. I don't back down from nobody. The biggest ones, the best ones, especially rookie punks. That's what I think he is, and he can't do nothing to me. No way. I'll prove that on, on Saturday. You, El Fabuloso, you think this guy still has it? Leroy Gonzalez can still get out there and skate? Leroy not only still has it, but is going to use it against this Trujillo punk, this rookie that thinks he has a lot of guts. That's the only thing he has is guts because he doesn't have any talent out here. And I'm going to tell you people right now, if you don't want to see blood, don't come down. Because this Saturday night, as far as I'm concerned, my friend Leroy Gonzalez is going to take care of this punk, and we're going to wipe him out once and for all because I'm going to be in the audience as usual. Well, we're going to find out exactly what happens right here at the Olympic Auditorium Saturday night. A big, big match race. Dick Holloway, take away. Well, Tony Trujillo is going to be going Saturday night against Leroy Bad News Gonzalez. And the Thunderbirds won one 91 to 88. But remember, Saturday night, the big match race. Tony Trujillo against Leroy Gonzalez.